Welcome to this new episode of 5 Minutes DevOps. Today, we are attempting to answer a question that has been debated for quite some time. Is DevOps dead? DevOps has been a major topic in software engineering and greatly impacted IT, but some believe it's no longer relevant. So, is it truly dead? That's what we will be attempting to answer. DevOps helps software engineering teams and businesses succeed, creating a unified environment for dev and ops teams to deliver better software to customers. Additionally, DevOps has been widely adopted by many organizations, from the small startup your friend launched to big companies like AWS and Netflix. If we look back in history, we'll find that other methodologies such as Agile are still being used by software engineering teams today. According to a survey, at least 71% of companies are adopting Agile in the U.S. in 2022. Agile adoption has helped 98% of companies. So, basically, companies didn't throw Agile out the window even if it's no longer a trending topic. Is the same thing happening with DevOps or is it slowly fading away? Let's analyze this. People ask the question, is DevOps dead, mainly due to the growing interest in other trending concepts, such as platform engineering. Additionally, even Gartner considers platform engineering one of the top strategic tech trends for 2023. Let's define this trend in simple terms. Platform engineering is the discipline of designing and building tool chains and workflows that enable self-service capabilities for software engineers in a cloud-native era. In doing so, platform engineers provide an integrated product, most often referred to as an Internal Developer Platform or IDP, which covers the entire application lifecycle. This platform provides developers with the tools they need to create, manage, and deploy applications in the cloud, from the initial development stages to the necessary operational processes to the final deployment and release. In this approach, the platform team builds, runs, configures, and maintains the IDP. They concentrate on standardization. Basically, the IDP is configured to automate recurring or repetitive tasks, such as spinning up resources or environments for developers. But aren't DevOps teams already doing this? What's wrong with the DevOps approach? According to the early adopters of platform engineering, developers are seeing a huge increase in cognitive load by adopting the DevOps mantra, you build it, you run it. At the same time, most developers don't like dealing with infrastructure. In addition to that, platform engineering advocates see that DevOps focuses on eliminating the silos between dev and ops teams by improving cross-functional collaboration and automating manual tasks, while platform engineering aims to reduce the need for coordination in the first place by creating reusable platforms and infrastructure. In a more practical sense, by building reusable components, platform engineers focus on providing infrastructure as a product instead of infrastructure as code and bringing automation to the next level. This way, developers can easily choose their configurations, self-serve their infrastructure, and truly own their code in production. Infrastructure as a product, as its name suggests, treats infrastructure as a product and not as a project. This shift focuses on managing infrastructure as a cohesive product rather than a set of isolated components. Another responsibility of platform engineering besides building infrastructure as a product is enabling internal teams to self-serve their ability to run and own their code in production. Among other practices, this is done by creating golden paths. Golden paths is a concept popularized by Spotify in a blog post written in 2020. The company uses a developer portal called Backstage, which hosts a set of best practices organized by disciplines such as data science, machine learning, or audio processing. Gary Neiman, product manager at the same company, considers that fragmentation leads to a form of rumor-driven development where the only way to find out how to do something was to ask your colleague. Golden paths are one of the ways to eliminate this problem. A golden path is an opinionated and supported path to building your system. It presents a set of highly detailed and updated best practices organized by type of engineering project, like client development, data science, or machine learning. Overall, 
Platform engineering is different from DevOps in that it focuses on creating reusable platforms and infrastructure that can be used by multiple teams and projects. The outcome of DevOps and platform engineering is practically the same. However, the methods to get there are slightly different. Does this signify the death of DevOps? In 2021, Puppet conducted research via the State of DevOps report and found that while the presence of a platform team does not make a direct impact on DevOps evolution, it can be an essential part of scaling out DevOps initiatives and unlocking their full potential. In other words, a great platform team can provide the infrastructure and environment necessary for the flourishing of DevOps practices, which can ultimately lead to the success of any DevOps project. Based on this, we can come to an important conclusion. Platform engineering is not killing DevOps, it's just scaling it out. DevOps is not dead, it's a living, evolving approach to software development. DevOps principles are simply being incorporated into new trends and technologies like platform engineering. Saying DevOps is dead is an exaggerated assumption. That was another episode of 5 Minutes DevOps. Don't forget to subscribe and join our community. Visit fawn.dev slash join. See you tomorrow.